Okay, you ready to get started? Get those heels on, feminine energy. If you haven't learned part one, part two of this routine, no problem, hang around with me. This class stands on its own. At the end, I'll put it all together. So then I'll give you an opportunity to learn part one and part two, okay? We're gonna start in this position right here where you're coming up, your hands are caressing the inside of your thighs. You're pushing back into that left hip and it's as if I have a fishing hook that's pulling you up, okay? From a really bent leg, to straight right leg, left leg stays in a slight bend. From there, you actually want to use your left foot first for very quick little walks. The little walks, I want you to be mostly on the balls of your feet and you rotate the same shoulder as the foot you're stepping on. So if I'm stepping on my left, I rotate my left shoulder. If I'm stepping on my right, I rotate my right. We're gonna take that to the side of the room. So once I came up, again, all my weight is on the left, but I'm gonna push myself out of it to go left, right, left, right. From there, take one solid step with your left foot. Hopefully you have more space than me. You take one solid uh, foot, step with your left foot. From there, you're gonna step out with your right, push your arm up, drag that left foot in, and then you're gonna rest your arm right here and just stop here for now, okay? So here we go, once again, from the beginning, we go up, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, step, boom! There's a huge horn here. From there, once you've rested, I want you to really plant this left ball of the foot down. That is your anchor. Those two feet, they're just swiveling, but the balls of the feet are planted down into the ground. Bend into your knees, and as you spin, you caress the back side of your neck, the side, and then eventually the front of the chest. Then you're gonna repeat those quick little walks. One, two, three, four. Once again, one solid step. This time, instead of sliding, you're gonna do the same step out, but whoa, look over your shoulder like Beyonce, okay? So one more time, coming up, and five, six, seven, left, right, left, right, walk, brown, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three. Is that kind of making sense? One more time, and then we'll go on, okay? Go on just a little bit more, because I actually want you to listen to the music, because I feel like the music will really, really help. It really drives you. We're dancing to the horns. It will be so clear, I promise. We go five, six, left foot. Da 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 da. Boom, boom, boom. Two, two. Da 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 da. Ta, da. From there, just two more movements. There's a huge boom. Another horn. I want you to, all you're doing with your torso is that you're leaning. This is your new front, right? I know this is the mirror, but this you're leaning forward, as far forward as you can. You're sticking your booty out. In the meantime, you're gonna bend into your left knee. I need you to keep your legs super extended. That's what makes the line really feminine. Strong, but feminine and sexy. So from there, having both legs straight, I push my sitting bone back. I push and open my chest to my new front. And then from there, there's four beats. This is one, where I'm grabbing the side of my knee. This is two, where I'm grabbing the side of my ankle. Three is coming up as abruptly as you can with a slight bend to your knee. Four is throwing your left arm up. Those are the four accents. And we're gonna stop right here and do music, okay? But that again, once I turned around, five, six, seven, Da 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 da, bow, bow. There's a hold, there's a silence, it's so clear, so we're gonna hold. When the horn comes on, bow, you stick your booty back and go down and go down. Keep your arms contained, controlled, and I'm gonna rest the side of my thumbs on top of my booty. That way the arms are not drooping. We want the arms out of the way so we can focus on the line and not the limbs falling down. So keep it right here, horn, bong, do, do, one, two, three, four. Those accents are quick, so I just want to practice that, drill that. We go, bong, da, 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 again, six, seven, eight, bong, da, 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 and that's it. 
One more time without music, then music, okay? Here we go. And five, six, seven, D, D, T, T, boom, round. Five, six, seven, D, D, ding, 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 boom, boom. Oh. D, ding, ding, ding. Hopefully it's a little more clear. Does that make sense? Let's try it with the music. I was quiet on this one because I want to make sure you heard it. Now I'm going to talk you through it a little bit more. Two more times, then we'll finish it, okay? Here we go. Here we go. Five, six, seven. One more time, and do your best. I can't see you, but I can imagine what you're doing. Do your best to isolate this from that. So in other words, if I'm facing you and I don't isolate, it kind of looks muffled and we don't really understand what's happening, right? So I'm gonna look over my shoulder, bow, T T. Like I'm gonna really separate my arms, one from the other, as much as I can. And if you notice, my chin is up, I keep my chin up on the first hand, but I drop on the second one. So that little head tilt is also a visual trick that separates those two arms, yeah? So from there, once I drop my chin, I'm gonna use my back muscles, my glutes and my abs whoo, to come up as sharp, as clean as I can without any aftermath. So that this is a clean beat, Boom, and that's another clean beat. So everything is isolated. Last time with music. That's why you're riding on that. Here we go. Five, six, ride it out. Hey. Okay, from there, once you threw that up, I actually wanna play where we left off. Let's play that music and hear this ending real quick. So just rewind a few seconds. I want you to hear what comes next, the boom, boom, just for you to hear the final beats. Listen to this. Listen. Okay, so if you heard, there's two huge beats. Boom, boom, and then there's all horn. Dee, 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 dee. Boom, full orchestra, okay? Those two big bumps, so after you're here, when you drop this forearm to the top of your head is when you're gonna give me the first boom of two boom side hips. So two huge side hips, and that first one is where your arm rests on your head. So five, six, seven. Woo, woo. And I want you to think like if you're with a girlfriend and you do this. So it's a little bit of a swooping instead of just side to side and kill your girlfriend, okay? So there's a little bit of a down, up, down, up. Now, it shouldn't read circular. That's also wrong. It should hit sideways. It's a linear move, but with the legs, it reads woo. Does that make sense? So it has a swoop, but that end hit is what hits. I hope that makes sense. So five, six, what's the count? Dun, dun, dun. Five, six, set, dun, 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 one, two, three. That's what it ends up being. Two, three, from there, I'm sitting on my left hip with both my knees bent, correct? Hopefully you are too. From there, I'm going to wind kneel my arms straight. While that's happening, 
my legs are lengthening straight and I'm shifting my hips to my right. So it's this delicious like movement. So as your legs are pushing the floor and the hips are shifting to the other side, the arms are supporting that too. So the whole movement to me feels like, like that yummy yawn in the morning, okay? So we go boom, boom. You go four, five from here. Your right hand, watches, watch me. My right hand goes from the left ear to the right side of the head. So you're doing the side wipe. Your left hand is the naughty one. You're going really, really between your butt crack and coming up, up, up. So you have this and you have that going on simultaneously. Okay, so that happens right after the windmill. So one, two, three, you have four, you have five, you have six, you have seven, eight, you're gonna abruptly face the front and hold as quietly as you can. What do I mean by that? If you're using the floor, I actually don't let my foot leave the ground. If you're using the floor, if you have a slight plie, if you're holding that belly button and that rib cage closed, and at the same time, so this energy is going forward, right? At the same time, if you have this energy going back, that creates opposition with your shoulders. So think of your shoulders going back, but at the same time, the rib cage closing in. That locks you in. So I can turn whoom, as abruptly as I want to without like falling forward or falling back. That quietness at that final pose, extremely important. It's your period, right? After you signed the biggest deal of your life, bam, that's it. Okay, let's take that new part. So once you looked around, Beyonce, the horn, then we're gonna isolate these four moments. Four, three, two, one, two hips, boom, boom, four, five, six, seven, boom. And you're quiet. You wanna hear that part? Let's hear that part. We'll mark the beginning, but we'll really go for blood for this new part right here, which is from Beyonce. One, two, three, four, okay? Here we go. So just mark the beginning for your brain. We come up, small walks. Here we go, you and me. Hey. and then hold this position. So dramatic, I love that for us. Okay, can we try it from the beginning of part three? Let's do it, we're gonna do it three times in a row. You're gonna be a professional by that third time. Y'all ready? Get in the mood already. Sexy, feminine, hey. What? Did you say my name? No. And hold, hold, hold. Good? Two more times? Just so you know in that ending pose, my girls right here are on fire. Like I'm engaging them so hard, as if I'm squeezing a beach ball without inverting your knees, right? That engagement can be done with your legs standing just like this. This is me not engaging. Ooh, this is me engaging. You can't tell the difference from there. I can definitely feel the difference. So these muscles should be active, activated on that final pose. That's your braking system, okay? Just like you press on your brakes on your car. Meet your brakes <laughs> and heels. Here we go, two more. Hey. One more for good luck. Let's do it. Let's go. Eight, six, 
Now, if you have not learned part one, part two, that is your moment. Like, go back to part one, go back to part two. If you're a pro, you've been here, all three sessions with me. Let's put them together right now. Really slow, from the top, then we'll go medium tempo, then we're ready for the music, okay? This is a nice refresher for all of us. Now, when I taught you part one, I taught you facing the mirror, right? Remember these snaps? I taught you facing the mirror. I wasn't lying to you, because that's the better way to teach it, but the routine actually starts with our back to our audience. So wherever you dance, take a few steps away from it. Okay, this is my front still, but I'm gonna face the back. And I'm gonna be sitting, do I sit into my left? D, D, I do. So you're gonna sit into that left hip. You can still watch me, right? We're facing the back. We go, da, 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 snap. Remember, it's just the wrist, snap. Boom, snap, now hips. Figure eight, figure eight. Then we do our walks. One, three, ta up. Remember, from here, T, T, the two hips, T, T, with the arms. From there, we went left, I'm bending my left knee, right hand is moving, right, I go under that rope, I go left, I go right, I turn, boom. And we're on to part two. Let's review that one more time. Five, six, seven. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Ba, da, da, da. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow. We good? If you need to review one more time, rewind it. From here, part two. Da 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 da. Boom, boom. Da da da. Bow, bow. Let's do that one more time. What I want to remind you of is after those four steps where you're undulating. Those are very, three, three very clean moments that have transition in between. In other words, it's not stop, stop, right? Like it's transitioning into and out of. So five is here. Five is the only one where I feel like I'm actually stopping the movement. Six, I have to go E and uh, six to get to my 90 degree, right? From there, E and uh, seven is when I'm melting down. Remember that, how I talked about that? So five is a moment of silence. But six and a seven, like how you get to six and how you get to seven, there's a lot in between. All right? So let's try that again. Seven, eight. Da, 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 da. Boom. Boom. Da, da, five and a six and a seven. From there, hip. Boom, boom. Six moments. Six, five, four, three. Two, one, from there, drag that right foot in, stay in that plie, rest the forearms and clasp the fingers behind you. Boom, boom, this is the moment that we turn up the energy. Now I ask you to step that right foot out, back, front, back, front. From there, open and pop the booty out. Close, come up, and then guess what? We're in part three, T, 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 T. You see how it's all connecting? One more time, part two, then I'm gonna take it back to part one, okay? We're slowly connecting everything. Seven, eight. Da, 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 da. Boom, boom, da, da, da. Bum, bum. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Ba, da. Gong, gong. Da, 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 da. Pop, dum, dum. Ba, dum, dum. Don't, don't. Good. Before we move on, part one, part two together. Just once, just once for our brains. Five, six, seven. Da, 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 da. 
Legs are uber straight. Chest is out. Isolate the wrist. Here we go. Da 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 da. Ba dum do. Ba dum do. Ba dum do. Da 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 da. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. Ba ba. Da 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 da. Do do da da da. Da 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 da. T t t t t t. Ba da. Boom, boom. Back front, back front. Pa, do, do. Close, do, do. Up, do, do. Moving on, part three. Da, 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 da. Bra! Oh. Hey, ti, 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 ti. Boom, look. Oh. Isolate, isolate. Whoa, whoa. Da 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 da. Boom. Did you impress yourself? I was actually surprised I remembered the whole thing. So if you're like me, high five. Shall we take it from the top? Let's take it from the top three times. If you're not ready, rewind through that last time that I did without music. That should be really helpful for you. But let's do it with music three times. Now, just a reminder before we go there, you have to have patience with dance. Uh, I know I said the word. You have to have patience with dance. I know we're in 2023 and everything happens with the press of a button, but anything that's worth it takes work, and especially patience. The process is extremely important. Just for the sake, I would love to make this video two hours long, but I know nobody in 2023 is gonna hang out with me for two hours, so that's why we try to compact at everything. But if you are at home, if you are someone that loves to dance and you're not comfortable with dancing anymore, you wanna improve in your dancing, you wanna take your dancing to the next level, whatever your goal is, slowing down and repetition have to be your best friend, okay? So again, for the sake of this video, I'm already getting into the three times with music and then you and I say our goodbyes. But if you're someone that like, listen, I have extra five minutes, it's worth it to go back. Okay, every time you do it will be better. It may not feel better, but it will be better. And you have to trust that. So let's back up. We're gonna start facing the back. Legs are uber straight, roll those shoulders back. Pull up on those quads, standing nice and tall. Remember avatar, you're six foot six. Here you go, you and me. Hey, figure eight hips, let's go. Walk. Arms up. Go under. Six. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Back front, back front. Pop it. Part three. Step. the end. So practice that hold as if that spotlight is getting dark and dark and dark and dark. And you have that applause at the end. So hold that pose. You represent yourself. I always think of that. When I dance, I'm representing me. I take pride in that. I hope you do too. You ready for round two? What can you make better? What worked? Well, you're like, actually, that was better than I thought. And what was like, actually, that was worse than I thought. So where, what, where is the room for improvement? And where's the room for a pat in the back? You're like, okay, this was actually good. I'm gonna do that one more time. You ready, focus. Maybe picture a stage right now, red curtains. You have those back lights. You have these like spotlights just on you. Like it's exciting. If that makes you nervous, good. We'll work on that. Ready? Figure eight.
hips. Back front, back front. Off you go. Three, two, three, two. Hey. Lights are fading, and you take on your applause. Third and final time, take a deep breath. How you doing in those heels? My ankles always, always get fatigue. That's because I'm controlling my ankles so much when I'm in heels. And I always think the shoe is part of me, it's a combination of the shoe's part of me, but I'm also pushing away from it. So I'm never settling into my heels. You can always tell if a woman knows how to stand and walk in heels by how she uses them, right? Like, if it's too used on the outside, you'll see them standing like this. That's a no-no. You want your heels if it, to, to, to wear out even, or if anything, more towards the big toe. That's a lot better. These are a lot weaker than these. So you want to tighten the outside of your ankles. That's usually where injuries happen. So by pushing the floor away, I am nice and even on both sides of my ankles. All right, last time. Feminine power. I'm not wearing pink, but I wish I was. It's that graceful strength that we have that men don't. When you want to be sexy, yes, you are insinuating what your body can do, but it's also a beautiful combination of giving out, but also bringing them in. So it's not everything out, 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 I'm here for you. It's I'm here for you, but then come over here too. So it's like this, this, this throw of energy. That can be inspired, not taught. That comes from your mind. When do you imagine yourself throwing literally your energy out? And when do you imagine yourself pulling the energy in? Last time, let's do it. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this class. If you like this, like the button, press the like button. That lets me know that you want more classes like this, okay? Practice, practice, practice. Be patient with the process. I'll see you next class.